No. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2, and I think it is week, challenge week number 16, if I'm not mistaken. And the challenge is to create a moon base, or a base somewhere. Uh, we have to construct a base that has, well first of all, a tower like this, which is a communications tower, and an observation uh, thing as well, and it must be as tall as possible. Now, I'm not going to go too tall. I am just going to do something eh, interesting. And this is the first stage that we are going to launch. And we're going to land on the moon. I the, the more difficult options for landing or for this challenge is to land on anything outside of Kerbin's sphere of influence. That means like on Duna or Venus or wherever, you know, or Moho, whatever. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I want to have a little bit of fun and not be frustrated. So I'm choosing the moon. And what we're going to do is just a little something different. So what we have here is an observation deck right over there. And then a tower, which is a communications tower, which has some batteries and solar panels. These are the legs at the bottom. And over here are docking ports. So the idea, this is what we're going to do, which is going to make it a little bit fun or interesting, is before we touch down with this whole uh, setup over here, the structure, is in the orbit, around the orbit of the moon, we are going to construct the base there already. Then we're going to take the whole structure and try to land the whole thing onto the moon. So we are going to park this thing in orbit around the moon, and leave it there, send up the other parts, which is going to be three separate launches, like over here, here, and here. We have three docking parts, so we're going to send three ships there as well. Now, there is going to be an additional launch. Well, we'll get to that very soon. Just want to showcase that over here in payloads, we are going to send two of these in one launch, these uh, hitchhikers, because it has four seats. So that will be eight times three, because there, there needs to be room for 20 kerbals. Okay, so we need an observation, uh, communications, habitat, which is for 20 kerbals, and then the additional launch will be a rover, which can house, uh, which should house, 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 six kerbals. Okay, so with that be that said and done, uh, I think the other, before we launch, the one thing is the, to add to more difficulty is one of the challenges or one of the difficulty challenge is to use the base of the launch, the, the delivery vehicle. As far as I understand, that's what it means. So I'm, I'm taking one of the heaviest parts first and we're going to park it in the orbit of the moon. Then the same base over here, we're going to strap down some of these hitchhiker crews and whatnot and launch them, meet up with this thing, and then try to land. Let's go ahead and launch. Okay. I've done a launch before with this. It went very, very smoothly. But uh, yeah, usually second time's not the charm. Okay, in three, two, one, go. I think we have about a 1.3 thrust to weight ratio, so everything should be nominal. Just gonna power down just a little, about 88%, just to make sure we uh, we get where we want to be. Okay, and we're right on schedule, so let's go ahead and start our gravity turn and just make sure we hit about 90 degrees. Okay, so we are approaching, well, we just got into the sphere of influence of the moon, and we are on this stage, which is about 65 tell to be left, <coughs> excuse me, but it doesn't matter because we have like 4,000 in the next stage. I hope that will be enough, not just for error break, well, not error breaking, but like closing our orbit and then also land at the same time. So let me go ahead and... Right, you know what, let's focus on here because this is kind of hard to do. Yeah, okay, there we go. 3839, this is what we wanted to achieve. 
Great stuff. Okay, and then something's gonna get flung into space over there. Uh, can I move this thing? Yeah, I can, but it's okay. Okay, so this is the next ship that is going up. I've already launched two of these. This will be the third one and the final one, which is going to dock with the tower. And then we're going to try to land the whole thing, the whole tower. Hopefully that will work. Then we'll send up a rover and see what goes from there on. But I've got to say this thing does fly correctly, but I had a few issues. Like, first of all, when I tried to launch, it says like it had no power, like there was no like electricity, you know, electrical generation and storage of EC. It was no EC for some reason. So I had to deploy this little solar panel over here. And as soon as it deployed, this whole ship started launching. And oh, I thought I it was going to be a disaster. I had to redo everything. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's, it works. Hopefully it will not do the same thing. And uh, yeah, all right. Let me get this thing close to docking. And then we'll be right back. Okay, we are coming in for a docking. Beautiful planet right over there. Awesome sunrise back there. And I was just waiting for the sunlight to hit so that we can do this. Uh, just trying to get this thing to work with us. I want to move a little bit towards the left. I'm pushing hard to the, to the right and successfully docked there we go okay i'm thinking we're gonna try to land in this spot over here okay in three two one ditch okay okay so this is one thing that has happened before let's go to the uh, tracking station. If this happens to you, this is all you have to do. Uh, stand, Kerbin, Moon, and Control. Here we go. Alright. I don't know why this one is not working anymore, but okay. Oof. Anyways, point up. And now it's the long descent. Luckily, this is the moon, so we should not... I mean, we are going to fall quite quickly, but... If we fire all engines, yeah, we can We can actually um, stop our speeds very, very quickly. Okay, I just had to reload a quick save. Because when I tried to descend, uh, I time, like fast forward a time. And as soon as I got to like a, I don't know, very low, then it just, the whole thing just stopped and we fell out of the sky and all that. So I have to sit here through the whole descent. I cannot just fast forward time. I have to sit here through the whole freaking descent just to make sure that we don't crash. Ugh, this is taking forever. Right, we'll be right back before touchdown. Okay. Almost. No. What? Boing. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, I really hope this was going to work. Okay, let me try this again. And I'll bring you guys back if it's working or not. All right, there we go. Wow. It took me, I think, four tries just to land this thing, including or excluding. There was a couple of, um, if I can show you guys over here to the loading, like these ones from here to here. These ones, like as soon as I load, then it the ship just, it does that thing. It like it just crashes. Like, I don't know why. So I had to start at 30,000 meters above the ground and damn that took and that was like four tries 
So all I did was I kept the throttle on and I touched down and I hopped, touched down, hopped, hopped, hopped. I think we would have initially landed over here. So like I landed, hopped, landed, hopped, land, 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 and then eventually it came to a standstill over here.